Hey guys, Q&A number nine coming at you here. First question is, will cardio make me lose muscle? So it's a pretty general one, but as long as you're not overdoing it um, and doing, you know, I'd say marathon-like cardio sessions or just running marathons, you see uh, people who run marathons, they um, lose a lot of muscle tissue just for efficiency because the less weight they can carry around, the better. They just want to be super lean um, have just enough muscle to kind of move their body like they need to and then uh, that way they can run um, longer and faster marathons. So as long as you're not overdoing it and as long as you're eating adequately and then the third one is as long as you're stimulating the muscle that you'd like to keep. So it's, it's one of those things where if you don't use it, you lose it. So um, stay on top of training just as or weight training just as heavy as you you had uh, prior to incorporating your cardio and you should be fine. Second question is, I've been drinking more coffee lately. I went from one cup to two to three cups daily. What are your thoughts on that? Is it best to have just one cup or does it matter? That's gonna depend. So as long as uh, bumping up your coffee intake from say one cup to two cups or one cup to three cups, um, as long as you're sleeping properly, I would say that's okay as long as you're digesting the coffee properly so it's not affecting your gut in a negative way. Um, just like any food or drink would, uh, you want your gut health to be on track. And um, as long as it's not, you know, yeah, affecting your sleep, affecting your gut, uh, keeping you up at night, um, then I, I'd say it's fine. For some people, there are some awesome benefits um, as far as coffee and caffeine go. If you're a fast coffee, or caffeine detoxifier, uh, you're gonna be able to get away with more coffee and more caffeine. If you're a slower detoxifier, um, it can have some negative effects, but you'd have to you'd have to kind of experiment with yourself to figure that out. Some people can drink a cup of coffee and hit the hay right away and fall asleep. Uh, that, that would be a fast detoxifier for sure. And then some people find if they have coffee at noon, they still can't sleep at 10 o'clock that night. So. Feel that out for you. Gut health, uh, if it affects your gut, and and the sleep and the fast or slow detoxifier on that one. Third question, I weigh myself every morning and I'm usually 175, but it fluctuates to 180 sometimes, and I don't know why. So I made a video about what affects our weight uh, a little while back, so go check that one out. Um, weight fluctuates a ton on a daily basis on factors like have you gone to the bathroom yet? How much water have you taken in? Um, how much salt have you taken in? What did you eat a heavy meal the night prior? Have you worked out? Um, there's so many, so many different things that affect weight on a day-to-day -day basis that I don't think that tracking um, that closely on a daily basis is effective. So you want to look at an overall trend. If you're trending in the right direction, your weight is going whichever way you'd like it to go, down, up, or staying the same. Um, that's that's the most important thing but tracking it on a daily basis uh, and getting super attached to those numbers day to day I don't think is effective and it can kind of throw you throw you for a loop so yeah just look at the trends the weight trends and then keep all those things in mind watch that video it goes into a little more detail as far as weight goes um, yeah and and don't get too wrapped up in the scale the scale is just a tool so use it that way but it's not the end-all be-all so uh, that's three quick questions. That's it, guys. Um, if you have any questions for future Q&As, hit me up and hope you learned something. Thanks. See ya.